Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at uh, script fragment and uh, learn how we can insert a custom CSS in our Jira instance. If you are a Jira administrator, then I'm sure there will be a point in your time as a Jira administrator where someone will ask you to insert uh, a custom CSS, maybe they want you to change the appearance of your Jira instance because uh, Jira has its own UI. It is not bad, but uh, maybe for some reason you're not satisfied with uh, the the interface. Maybe you want to change the colors. That you can do anyways using the Jira look and feel section where you can uh, change colors and do some customizations when it comes to color. But uh, in case you're not uh, satisfied with uh, what you can do natively and maybe you want uh, your own custom CSS, maybe you want to change the whole appearance of your Jira instance, it is definitely possible. Or maybe you just want to insert your own um, style somewhere in between. So let us say you have this uh, Jira issue where you have this section called people where you have the information about the, the current assignee, reporter and uh, uh, number of votes and you can also take a look at the watchers for some reason let us say you want this section to appear in a different color let us say you want uh, this section to be in a red background or maybe a green background it can be any color you can make it uh, look really good or maybe very ugly so if you look at uh, the css that is currently being used uh, so first you need to identify the the ID, the, the class or maybe the ID. So if you know a bit of CSS, I think that is enough. So my ID is a people module and if you click on the plus sign, so right now I'm using I believe Firefox, so you can also do the same thing in uh, Chrome just to understand or just to identify the ID or the class. And if you quickly do some uh, some testing here, so let's say if you want to change the, the background to maybe red, so you, you can type something like this background and uh, oh, let me try it again so you can type background equal to red so we have this red color it looks uh, really bad but uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how we can do that so for inserting this uh, css there are a couple of ways uh, in jira you can uh, use the announcement banner where you can of course uh, type your own um, css and uh, not not the css but you can type your you can write your style and uh, apart from writing your own style you can also refer to a file that is probably stored on your uh, web server where jira is installed but you can also do the same thing using uh, of course your uh, script runner so mm -hmm. let us continue looking at script runner and uh, in this script runner uh, section you have this uh, feature called script fragment so with the help of script fragment you can do a lot of things in our previous video we inserted our own custom button that will let us uh, search the jira title or summary maybe in your search engine like google.com but uh, you can basically interact with or you can basically insert uh, some web elements uh, in your jira instance so apart from inserting a button or maybe a menu link, you can also insert your own uh, JavaScript or CSS. So in this video, let us insert our own CSS. So for doing that, you need to select uh, install web resource. So if you click on this, uh, this particular option, you will be presented with this uh, simple interface where you can uh, uh, specify the resource. So in this case, my resource is a style dot css and uh, the good thing about uh, script fragment is that uh, uh, as i mentioned before you can also use your announcement banner you can uh, put your own css but uh, that will of course uh, apply the style based on the id or maybe the maybe the class but it won't really use your uh, your jira uh, let us say you want you just want to uh, apply you want to you, you maybe you just want to have that uh, css or style applicable within a specific section or feature of your uh, 
of your Jira instance, not the whole instance of Jira. Uh, using your script fragment, you can actually specify the context. For example, if I apply some custom styling, but I only want this to be applicable uh, within my Jira issue view. So whenever I'm looking at my Jira issue view, I want a specific styling to be applicable. Now you can of course do do this kind of segregations using your, your ID or uh, your uh, class in uh, CSS. But if that particular ID or uh, class is being used uh, uh, maybe everywhere in Jira, uh, then that particular style will be applicable everywhere. But using script fragment, you can further apply some context. So this particular uh, style.css will be applicable only uh, when I'm looking at my Jira issue view. And uh, you also need to specify some uh, some key. So let me specify a key like ugly red color. And uh, before you can uh, uh, add this script fragment, you can uh, click on preview just to make sure that uh, everything's working fine. And uh, Right now I'm using this uh, style.css. It is a reference to a file that I need to store on my server. And the location of that particular uh, uh, directory is uh, something that you can specify in, in your uh, uh, set env dot uh, sh or uh, dot uh, bat file. So this is uh, this is my uh, my uh, location where I can actually store my scripts. So you, if you want to also do the same thing, you can uh, modify your set env file and you can specify your directory location. Uh, for example, right now my directory location is uh, um, my Jira home slash scripts folder. So any script that I put that I want to put in my scripts folder, it could be a JavaScript, it could be a CSS, it will be applicable based on the um, context uh, that I want to uh, use. So let us quickly add this uh, particular uh, web resource, which is nothing but a CSS. And if I go back to my actual issue, let me do a refresh and let us see if my style is working. And by the way, my style is, uh, my style.css is very simple. It is simply applying some red background to the uh, people section here. So if I took, if I take a look at the inspect, if I if I try to understand what is the CSS which I'm using, I just want to show you how it looks like. So this is the CSS that I'm trying to use, which is nothing but uh, changing the background color to red. So this is something that you can also do uh, in your instance using a script runner. And uh, as I mentioned before, the, the the advantage of using script fragment is that you can also specify the context where you want your uh, style to be applicable. So I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.